Welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Peggy. And I'm the Don. Welcome to Gone with the Winleys. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for another vlog, family. Coming to you from the man cave for the from first the time. We just trying to figure out a good little spot that has the best light and everything like that. We'll get this yeah. thing figured out. Eventually. There you go. But, but today we're just going to come to you and talk to you just a little bit, right? So we're going to talk about this move to Houston. Just mm -hmm. a little, little bit, right? So we're, I'm going to tell you my likes and dislikes about Houston. And I guess Donald can tell you pretty much, the, I mean, his experience. Yeah. But we we got here in March and I immediately fell in love with the area, yeah. right? I, I immediately fell in love with the area. The only really makes we only like i say march and we're what Ju july we're in july we're in july uh in this short time i have grown to love houston okay. but there are just a few things that bother me there's no way around them yeah. so i'm just gonna have to learn to deal with them so if you have any suggestions below <laughs> let let your girl know <laughs> but i'm gonna tell you the number one thing i don't like is the traffic yeah. i just have it, it's not even the traffic, it's the drivers. There's a mentality uh, here that, yeah. that is really obviously prevalent. Now, if you haven't been here or you know, driven around uh Houston area, there's big highways, so it's easy to get from one city to another, right? Yeah. But there's all these little side roads next to the highway, and that's mm -hmm. where the real fun happens. Yeah. I mean, these people are changing lanes, cutting each other off, trying to get from one side to the other in like a snap. We saw somebody switch over three lanes yesterday in one fell swoop in the middle of heavy traffic. Luckily, he made it through. But Listen, couples, when y'all driving, you know, wives, girlfriends, you know, when you put press down on that, emer that uh, imaginary brake, because yeah. I'm doing it all the time. Like, the traffic for me. Uh, I told you guys that while we're here, we're going to run into some gyms because we're looking for homes. There you go. So we found a few gyms. Yeah. that we're going to share with you. We're not going to be specific as to what we like or what we don't like. We'll just let you know how that goes. Like, yeah. And please remember, we're not expecting to move in until like spring of next year, maybe? Yeah. Spring of next year. Well, maybe a little earlier than that. It depends on well, what we It just depends exactly. on what happens, right? Yeah. But, you know, from our mouth to God's ears, that's what yeah, we're going to say. But anyway, so that's my first problem and so I told Donald I said the ideal place would be like a community mm -hmm. where I don't have to get on the highway but I could still take myself like to the grocery store and go just little shopping and stuff like that yeah so we found a couple communities that would fit that narrative right there you go now we're bumping heads and I ain't gonna lie <laughs> with the price but yeah we ain't gonna talk about the price but anyway we're bumping heads yeah. Donald wants to stay and I understand you know what I'm saying? Like, I understand. I just want something just a little bit. So we're going to meet in the middle somehow. Like, it, it's going to work out. It's, it's not enough to be like, okay, we're not going to do this. We could actually find what Donald is comfortable with. Yeah. We could actually find it. It's going to take a little legwork because the community that I found, that I fell in love with, is not going to give me that. But we found a house similar in a different area. There you go. But the prop, my problem is in that area, like, okay, so to me in a community, I want you to have all the amenities. I want you to have like, you know, when you get the pool area, the tennis court, the workout, the this, the that, you know, those are yeah. the kind of amenities I'm looking for in the community. But I also want to be able to get out and ride our bikes or walk the dog or just walk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want, Donald calls it walkability walk, I want or something that too. like that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I want that. But in one area that you found the house that you love, it okay. did not really offer that. <laughs> it's Tom Ball. So the Tom first area, the first area, the first house we're gonna show you, right now. Yeah. The thing is, both of these houses are very similar. We're gonna show you two houses in today's video. Yes. Both of these houses are extremely similar. The only really big difference is the locations, right? Now there might be a few small differences here and there, like bedroom sizes and stuff like that. But the location is the big difference. The location that that we're talking about first, Tom Ball. It's still early on in the development, so they don't have all the stuff outside the uh, community that 
the second uh, area has. But do you think eventually they'll have I'm it? I'm thinking they're eventually going to have that. But see, that's like, that, that's putting trust in, uh, in plans and stuff like that. Yeah. So because it's early on, it costs less. These both of these yeah. houses are basically yeah. the same square footage, everything yeah. like that, made out of the same kind of materials. Yeah. Yeah. So the difference is because it's in an early onset of the community, it costs less. If we come to this community later on, the houses are gonna be smaller and they might not be the same builders and stuff like that. So yeah. as Peggy said, it's probably not gonna be the community we choose, but it just gives you an example of how the differences are. Mm -hmm. The difference between the houses is is mm -hmm. Decent. There's a decent, like a seventy-five to hundred thousand dollar difference between yeah. two houses. Hey, how's it going, fam? It's the Don here, and I'll be walking you through the less established community house, the first house. Uh, of course, when you first walk in, you see a nice, clear path, kind of open floor plan with nice high ceilings. I think these are 10 foot 6 inches high, which is really, really good. Now, the first room to the left is the primary guest bedroom. Um, still got the tall ceiling, but I'd rather have an office here, but hey, that's a, a flexible area for me. Uh, it's a decent size and pretty nice layout, so I think uh, any any guests that we have be comfortable here. Now, there is no, no bathroom attached to this uh, guest bedroom, and that's a little bit of a disappointment, but hey, we're not trying to buy the house for the guests, <laughs> so that's not going to be something that's going to deter us, but it's a good bathroom nonetheless. Over here to the right is where they currently have their little offices, since this is a model home, and so the offices is, is, uh, is going to be going via a two or three car garage. Now here's the office. It's the second room on the left. And this is a pretty big office. I really like the way it lay. I can see myself doing a lot of things in here. So I'm kind of excited about that. So let's get back out here. And now we're going to walk into the kitchen now. This is where these new homes really, really stand. I love the size of that super island right there. And there's seating for the island. I'm going to show you that a little bit later on. Um, but, you know, modern appliances. Nice, uh, plenty of storage area gas stove for pay can make those delicious meals that I'm, I've grown so fond of. <laughs> I've always been fond of. Nice big sink, pour some top, all that good stuff right there. And it's a very clear path into the uh, great room. We don't need separate formal dining rooms. As a matter of fact, I'm against it. But this one here is a nice little eating area for large family gatherings. We go into the living room here. Nothing to really say about it. This is a nice airy rug, so it's not carpeted. It's just a really, really big airy rug. Um, big windows, lots of good light. Um, I'm going to take you out to the back. Now, one good thing about a new build and, uh, and a new up-and-coming neighborhood is the lot, the lot sizes were bigger. So you get more backyard and more space out here. This, is, of course, is an upgraded back area, but I love the size of all the lots for the new area. So now I'm going to take you into the uh, master bedroom. Um, it has extra space here. I wish they had a little bit more space, but uh, this is a good size master bedroom. It's a king size bed over there. And it is carpeted. Peggy says she's flexible on the whole carpeting thing, but at least that it's nice and it's still got nice big windows over there. And like I said, there's enough space to sit. Now, I'm going to say what this, what this big uh, house beats the other uh, home is this master bath. I like the layout of this master bath more than the other home that we'll be showing you a little bit later. Plenty of cabinet space, nice shower, separate shower and bathtub, of course. That's going to be a plus and a uh, mandatory for any home that we get. Good size walk-in closet. This is the, I'm going to call this the hers closet because obviously Paige's going to get the bigger closet. She has more clothes and stuff. But it is really nice, like very easy to organize. And I got a pretty decent sized closet myself. I was a little impressed by that. So that's a really good layout of the master bedroom and the closet space. Now we're gonna go back and through the great room here. You can see the seating under the island that I was just talking about a little while ago. I really love that. And uh, that's what I'm gonna do most of my eating, I believe, when we're not having like formal gatherings. But this is a, a nice feature of this one. There's a separate two bedrooms and seating area <laughs> on the side here so you got one bedroom to the right uh we can imagine one of our grandkids being in that area 
got his own little closet of course it's got the seating area in the middle and then you got the other bedroom to the left now this is all separated from the rest of the house so we can keep that living room uh separated and uh, everybody can just be free to enjoy themselves and relax the area has its own bathroom that is shared between the two occupants of those bedrooms and finally i'm gonna show you a little bit of the walk-in pantry area just a good size pantry it is amazing to me, like Donald and I have looked for homes everywhere we've been. Like we almost settled back down in St. Louis. So we went house hunting in St. Louis. Yeah. It's amazing to see the difference from the way they build homes yeah. in Missouri, Texas, Georgia, because we've looked in those three areas. Uh, we picked this because it's military friendly. Yeah. Donald can take- Extremely military friendly. And Donald can take more advantage of his retirement benefits that he worked so hard for. Exactly. So it only it only makes sense. And plus, I do love it, but I haven't found my area, right? Well, the I, area that we sound that you like, I think you're going to like that area there if we were to just choose on that one. Yeah, but um, I like that you guys are sending us suggestions oh, for yeah. areas and stuff like that. Like, I, I love that because they give, like, we're, we're new. Like, we can only go by what we see or whatever else. Like, we could drive down to Katy, and we love the Katy. Now, to me, Katy is a little busy. Yeah. Katy is a little Katie busy Katy is like it's already complete. I feel like it's already built up and everything like that. No, I'm sure it's room. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm sure it's room because Katy's a big place. I am just not a fan of Katy. I don't mind going there. I like the area as far as visiting, yeah. but I wouldn't want to say that. But you can't, I, re I really can't say that because I haven't seen all of Katy. Yeah. So somebody could write down in comments, hey, check this area out or check this area out. Yeah. And so we've been doing little checks. And if we see something we like, like I said, we're going to pass on the gems to you to let you look at them. Yeah. And we're not asking for opinions. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, I'm just, I just want to show you what we're looking at. Yes. And eventually, as you look at these houses, and we're not going to inundate you with them, no. but um, eventually when you see the homes, you'll kind of know what we're looking for. Because I hate to tell you what I'm looking for because y'all hold me to my word. <laughs> you said you were looking for this, and I don't want that. Like, I just want to be able to go and do and share as much as I can without the backlash of it. You know what I'm saying? There you go. And so right now... Uh, we're looking in this one area, but I told Donald, I was like, that's what happened when we bought our house in Savannah. We looked at it, we loved it, we bought. But then after we were there for a little while, we were like, wow, we didn't even know about we this didn't community. Know about here, or so. we didn't know about this. It was like three other communities that I would have loved to be in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we could have got more house and stuff. Because I don't want a house like an apartment. This this the only thing I don't want. I don't want a house that's like an apartment where you walk in the house and that's all that it has to offer. Yeah. Like everything is a great room and around the corner is the bathroom and around this corner is the bedroom. Yeah. Like I want it to be, I want the open area, but I also want it to have sections. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what I'm looking for. So we are together on that part. We are it. very, we have very, very similar we ideas do. of how we want our house to look and everything. And I'm going to tell y'all something else that might shock y'all. Donald is more, uh, uh -oh. what, what do I want to say? Not bougie. No, but, I, I'm not going to say uh, bougie, or, uh, but Donald likes what he likes. Yes. And it comes with a hefty price tag. But the problem with that is. <laughs> He don't want to pay that price. <laughs> and so I, I just laugh at him. You know, I, yeah. I look, I look and I laugh because I'm like, I know what I'm looking for, mm -hmm. but Donald is specific and I like that. Mm -hmm. Like he's going to pick all the fixtures and the granite and the wood choices. Yeah, I would do and all that. Like, I'm just, I'm just telling him, I don't want any carpet in our home at all. I don't like carpet. Yeah. I just don't like it. I love a house without corporate. I, a, a good area rug can change your life, can change the scenery, can change everything. And I just don't like her. Now, if I had to have corporate, I would have mm -hmm. it in the bedroom, but that would be the only place. Yeah, in the master bedroom. Yeah, but that would be it, yeah. right? So I don't know, uh, fam. We have seen some beauties, and it's just like we went to one that they're building up an area, but they're in zone two right now, I think they are. So. They had a row of just bottle bed. homes. Yeah, they they have a whole row of them, and it starts you know 
at the bottom and then it goes all the way up. And when I tell you, I went in one house and I was like, this is it. It, it, it cannot that, get any yeah, better. Yeah, yeah. And then I went next door and I was like, okay, wait a minute. Now this is it. It can't get any better. And then I went and it just kept getting bigger. But you know, the better it gets, the more that price tag comes up. So we want to make a good sound decision and we want to, you know, be good with it because this is our last move. This is the last. <laughs> this move. is our last, last, last we, move. We we're always say it, but we didn't say it when we were coming to this apartment because we knew this apartment was a transition point. But yeah. we always say this is going to be our last move. But this is legitimately going to be our not, last move. So I had to take yeah. that into account. Yeah, I had to make sure it's a place that we can live with. That be yeah. Peggy feels comfortable and I yeah. feel comfortable and we can do the kind of things we want to do. Yeah. So. That's a very, very important factor. And although I have a frugal mindset, I'm not going to allow that to deter me from getting the kind of house that we can be comfortable in mm -hmm. for the long time, for the long haul. Mm -hmm. So we've already showed you the first house. Uh -huh. So now we're going to go ahead and show you the house in this area that Peggy was just talking about with all the model homes. We just picked one of the model homes for this one in particular, and she's going to talk you through it. So uh, let's go ahead and show you the second house. Hey guys, and now we're going to show you a home that fit all of my boxes. This is Perry Home model number 2737, if I'm not mistaken. I love this floor plan. So when you very first come in, you'll see the office. And I'm sure that's where Donald will spend all of his time. To the right is going to be the garage area. But over here, when you come to the left, these are... Uh, guest bedroom one and the other guest bedroom two. I will set those up for guests, well, grand, for my grandchildren for the most part because we always get them in the summertime. They can share this bathroom. It's a nice size. Now, when you come here to guest bedroom three, I am going to change this into my craft area. I like this room because it has everything in it. I, I have my private bathroom and stuff like that, but I'll probably use it to store a lot of stuff in there because I have a lot of crafting uh, materials. But this room will be perfect for me. It is the biggest out of the extra three bedrooms that we have. And so then when you come down to the hall, you'll see this room. We love this room. And I think I'm going to change this maybe into a game room. I don't know if Donald wants to make it a movie theater or something, but I'll let him make that decision. But family, look at this kitchen. It is absolutely amazing. I love everything about this area. Y'all know in this house process, I love windows, just windows everywhere. Windows, windows, windows. I love the open feel to this floor plan. Up under the island, you'll see that there's even more storage up under there. But anyway, I love everything in this room except that ceiling fan. If I had to change one thing in this room, it would be that ceiling fan. But I fell in love at first sight. I, I just love it. Like, we could go look at this house a hundred more times and things will never change. This is my favorite floor plan. Now, let's come around to the master bedroom. I'm going to call it a master bedroom suite because I've always, we've had nice size bedrooms, but not to this size because I've always wanted to have seating. And with this bedroom, you could have the seating. And then you see those windows. They are amazing. Now, the bathroom is great, too. I love the garden tub. Now, in that door to the left there is going to be a linen closet. And if you keep walking backward, it would be the walk-in closet. Here's in her closet. But I love the double sinks. I love everything about this house. I even love the pendant lighting there. Did you see that? So this is my favorite floor plan, but Donald and I, we're just going to keep looking. But you can get this floor plan in many areas. So, as you can see, my favorite was number two, and Donald's favorite was number one. And to me, they're not so different. Exactly. I would be happy with either one of them. Yeah, I, I would be too, but it, if we could take one and put it in area two, <laughs> yeah. that would be nice. And it is one of the builders for that area. Yes. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, if we could take that house and put it over there, 
like I said, it's an option. Mm -hmm. But you can kind of tell that Donald and I are not so far off that it's going to be a problem no. for us to come up with a home that we both love and that's financially feasible. Yeah. Like we can afford it and still live our life and stuff like that's that. That's the thing. See, both homes are, are within our price range and stuff, but one allows a little bit more uh, wiggle. The wiggle wiggle room, room, a little, allows us to have a little bit more uh, fun money, I guess you want to call it and stuff. Yeah. So, but like I said, I'm not going to allow that to be a determining factor. Yeah. I am going to look at everything. I'm looking at the build quality. I'm looking at the communities. I'm looking look at how well it's managed. Any kind of flood threats, any kind of bug threats, power power situations. I'm all about being prepared. Y'all know that's how I've yeah. always been my entire life, making sure that I'm ready for any situation. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to take all those factors in. Also, walkability, like spaces for DJ and stuff, because DJ my little buddy. Yeah. We're going to walk in every morning. We're going to do it every evening. So those are all factors that take got going into account. And so we have some really, really good options. So, number one I don't like about Houston is the traffic. Mm -hmm. Number two, the humidity. It is something to get used to. Yeah. But it's not a deal breaker, though. That's what I'm saying. Like, nothing has been deal breaker for me. Yeah. So, the humidity, like... Yeah, we don't go out. <laughs> we don't go out. Because not yet. It, not out in the middle of the daytime and no. stuff like that. We Unless just, we have to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It didn't even feel as humid. We were in Galveston earlier this week. We'll just spend a little day out there and stuff. And it didn't even feel as humid down there. I don't yeah. know why Houston feels so humid and stuff, but yeah. it just felt pretty cool down there. And of course, number three for me is the bugs. The bugs. I really have a bug phobia. It's real fun. It doesn't bother me when they're just normal, but to me, I feel like they're mutant bugs because bugs shouldn't be that big. But living here, you have to get used to it. I was watching a ton of videos about, you know, people moving to Houston, how they feel about it, what they like about it, you know, what they don't like. And every video, if you're not from here or from a warm state where the bugs are like that, you know, like you'll get them in Georgia and Florida and stuff like that. Yeah. But if you're not used to it, it is a shocker. So if I could learn to be a more aggressive driver, I probably could get on the highway, but I'm not even going to chance it. Like <laughs> if there's ever an opportunity where Donald can't take me somewhere, I'm just going to Uber because I'm not going to drive that highway. Because until you get off on the wrong exit, you might be on another highway for another 10 minutes before you get back minutes. up. I was on for 18 minutes. <laughs> yeah, minutes. and I, I just don't want that. I don't want, and then <laughs> y'all know I got this fear of heights, and so you don't know if it's going to take you up a ramp or whatever else, and so until I get used to Houston, it's probably going to take me a while. So, and one of my likes is that Houston is close enough to all the ports. Basically, you know, we like the cruise, so we got very close we got Galveston. We, we saw Galveston uh, port while we were down there. We got New Orleans five or six hours away. And then we got the Florida thing about 10 hours away. This is all if we decided to do all the driving and stuff. That's a pretty good thing about it. Mm -hmm. And there's um, almost every exit. You can find everything. Every restaurant, every kind of um, supply store, anything you're looking for shopping-wise can be found at just about every exit. You don't have to drive far. We was in Savannah. We had to drive like 25 minutes from our neighborhood just to find certain items and stuff. All we yeah. had was a grocery store right outside and maybe a, a Chinese food place. And we do have a Bucky's here. Yeah, we got everything. And all these. Everything. everything. Yeah, all the grocery stores, we all, got the, all the, the restaurants. We got all the restaurants. <laughs> exactly. So for me, that is really, really good. I'm never more than 10 minutes away from something that I need to go get. So mm -hmm. I really, really do like that. Um, mm -hmm. They really do have a, a lot of walkable communities and everything, which, which is a big one for me. And uh, I don't know, it just, and as Peggy said, it just feels very homey. It just yeah, feels like it it's very inviting and stuff like that. So, mm -hmm. yeah. But like I said, we're not married to Houston. Yeah, like we exactly. Haven't, we haven't even gone to Austin. And yeah. I don't want to go to Dallas, but I will. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I, I just don't know what part of Texas we're going to end up at. Yeah. But uh, we've had a lot of people reach out to us and say, before you buy, make sure you check out Austin. You're gonna love it. Yeah. And so San we're gonna, Antonio, we got, we got San a lot Antonio, of San Antonio, lot, Antonio lot of San too. Antonio. So we're gonna pick up Austin probably this month, and then San Antonio next month. Cause 
you know, we still want to get out and explore. Yeah. Even though our RV is not ready yet. They haven't even started working on it. But whenever we get it back, we're going to really, you know, go out a lot and stay in these places because one thing about me, I want to know the neighborhood before I move into it because yeah. my mother used to always tell us, go into a neighborhood at night so you can see what's going on at night throughout the neighborhoods and stuff like that. Because during the daytime, it might be too hot. It might, you know, it could yeah. be anything, but you want you want to be familiar with the area. But I'm just telling you, the area that we're in right now, I feel very comfortable. Yes. And I feel safe here. I just, I mean, but stuff happens everywhere. Stuff happens but everywhere, but it feels good. I just, I feel, I feel like, you know how you go someplace and you're like, I feel at home here. Yeah. Well, that's the feel I get, right? In in Houston. Yeah. Now, like I tell you, I have a brother that lives in Dallas. And I was going to move to Dallas maybe 30 years ago. Mm. But uh, I didn't like it. Because when I got there, I just didn't, it didn't feel good yeah. to me. I just, I didn't I bet like there's some it. beautiful parts of Dallas. And oh, stuff and there's some beautiful and parts of Dallas. But... And they had some beautiful homes too. Yeah. You know, if I had got in 30 years ago, I probably would have a nice, nice Ooh. one. But... I just didn't like it. I I liked St. Louis better than that. But some people feel that. Like my brother went to Dallas, fell in love with it. He's been there for over 30 years. So it is what it is. But um, we just want to make a good sound decision that's going to work for us. Thank you guys for watching this video. We appreciate it. Yeah. And we're going to share more gems with you as they come up. Yeah. Uh, we're going to try to get back to our upload schedule starting next week. Well, okay, so here's the deal. <laughs> yeah. uh, we have to go to St. Louis next week. Yeah. So we're, we're going to be taking Cameron back because something has come up. So yeah. she has to go home a little early. She's not happy about it. But, I mean, she was going to go home the following week. Yeah. <laughs> So it's just a we week cut early. About six days off we cut her about vacation. six va days off her vacation. So we've been doing a lot with her, like trying to really show her Houston. And we're going to show you guys a lot more of Houston as well, or Texas for that matter. Just what's around and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, we're going to be in St. Louis next week. And then the following week, we're going to come back and try to get back on our schedule of. Yeah. Two, maybe three two videos or three a week. week. Yeah. It'd be two, three, two, three kind of thing. Trying yeah. to get out like eight to ten videos a month. Yeah, ten is the goal. Yeah. So we're going to try to get back to that because we were doing like ten to twelve. We were before. doing ten to twelve at a time. But ten is the goal right yeah. now. That's all we can pump out. Yeah. And maybe a live or two. Yeah. So uh, we're going we're gonna to get back to our regularly scheduled program the third week of July. Because uh, at this time we'll be getting ready to cruise and stuff like that. Yeah. Our cruise is the for second week of uh, September. Second week of September. So we got to get ourselves together for that. So anyway, fam, thank you for joining yeah. us today. Do you, you have anything? Because I've been talking. I just yeah. said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She got a lot of stuff on her mind, fam. We, know we got a lot of stuff coming up, as Peggy said, but uh, she, she basically covered all the bases. So with that being said, I just want to remind you guys, God, they do something good for yourself. And for others as well. And for others as well, fam. Y'all take it easy. See you in the next one, fam. All right. Bye-bye.